when the next president sits down at her or his desk uh, in late January, um, he or she is going to find not one problem at the top of the list, but a long list of critical, pressing problems all of which have basically the same level of urgency. And she or he is going to need to tackle them at the same time. Um, there, we're going to need to do a lot of things on an individual basis. But I, if I were to describe the problem as a whole, I would say it this way. The United States helped create a global order after the end of the Second World War, which was based on rules, which was based on liberal capitalism, and was based as much as possible on democracy and uh, collaborative problem solving. That order is under threat today from countries like Russia, which seek to undermine it, from countries like China, which seek to rewrite the rules, um, and from non-state actors like ISIS, which seek to destroy them entirely. The United States is going to need do need to do everything that it can to buttress that order while bringing more countries in and making sure that the ones who seek to undermine it are uh, kept, in, uh, kept in their box and that the, the harm that they can do is, is as limited as possible.